Guardian of Order. A year to the day after Anarian passed on, the princes of Ulth One convened the Shrine of Astorian to elect a new Phoenix King. The obvious choice was Malekith, Anarian's son by Morathi, his second wife. He became a powerful spellcaster, warrior, and leader. But many remembered how cruel Anarian became after he drew the blade and married Morathi. They did not want a repeat of that legacy. They chose Belshanar, Prince of Teradnok, an elf who fought in the war but was also seen as a voice of reason and peace. Morathi was angered, but Malekith agreed to support whoever they picked. He was the first one to bend his knee. Here began an age of colonization and exploration. Colonies were founded all over the world. Contact was made with the dwarves and everyone prospered. Belshanar was an excellent sailor in his own right, and he would visit new colonies all over and even befriend the dwarves. Malekith became his ambassador to the dwarves, and while everything was great, chaos seeped back into their lives. A cult of pleasure began to spread, as excess had become part of their lives. Malekith came back home to find his own kingdom, Nagareth, was the root of all of it, with his mother being their high priestess. He denounced all of them and hunted them down. He even turned his own mother in. Eventually, he would call all the princes and accuse the Phoenix King of being one of their members. Before Belshanar could deny the accusation, he was poisoned. It is time to introduce a new unit, the Sipping Sailors by Nildreya. They began as well-trained sailors and docked on the shores of the Empire's lands with expensive cargo one early summer evening. The captain gave his men their wages and told them to behave. Well, they had been at sea for quite some time. They got into a fight with some of the locals, which brought shame to the captain. He decided to personally enlist all of them into Lothran Sea Guard program, giving them over to one of their toughest drill sergeants. In the hundreds of years that have since passed, these once rowdy sailors have become disciplined warriors. We also have pizza-flavored Sea Ranger Elnora. She's from Tiranok and captained her own trade ship for many years, bringing supplies to the elven colonies all over the world. After the Sundering, she focused her efforts on helping her people rebuild after their losses. Her skills at sea were not needed in Tiranok, and so she decided to join the Sea Lord in his own expeditions and has fought with him for many years. Now we can begin. Whispers of the Morning Chorus One of the princes of Tiranok has perished whilst hunting. He was a forthright and well-liked fellow, yet known for his streaks of arrogance and foolhardiness. His death is a terrible loss to the Teradoc nobility, who hold themselves rigid with a starch of past glory. The Phoenix King and Everqueen are, of course, invited to attend the burial rite, yet how they participate is discussed with much fervor amongst the court. If I let them speak here, evidently the upkeep for chariots will go up. That's okay, it's only for five turns, and I gain 38 influence instead. There we are. One more bit of technology completed. We now know how to make pottery. Great. And now we're in an age of discovery. All major port owners have become known to each other via diplomacy. Good to know. Now let's go over our plan. We're leaving Norska. Midland is moving in. I don't know what they will take or what they will do. But not only is Midland here. The Greenskins are too, and hello, thank you for the money, that is an easy battle. I'll take the gold instead. We've gained over 8,000 gold. We gained gold from winning the battle, and now gold from winning it afterwards too. Our bounty, the Cursed Islet. 8,000 gold, not bad. But we're gonna bring Sea Lord Ashlyn over to Tortavlu. In one more turn, it'll be tier four. When it's tier 4, I'll be able to upgrade many buildings. When I do that, we'll be able to recruit new units too. That is my goal. I'll probably get more Lothern Sea Guardsmen. My Scions of Mathlin will potentially move over to another army. I think that might be a good idea. We'll need 7 new units. Look at that, the Greenskins are here at Longship Graveyard. And over here at the Tower of Croc. The Vanna Heimlings have been weakened. I don't know what will happen to them, but I've done my part. I feel like I've done my part. While we do that, Hawk Lord Unalith, who does not have a very elite army, will move down here. We'll allow him to take a port or two. We'll probably wage war on Skaven. Skaven are rather prolific. They own potentially all of Estalia and Talea. I doubt they own Sartosa, but... If they're way over here in Bretonia, then I know Talia and Estalia did not make it. I'll go take their lands back for them, and we'll make a lot of gold because of it. 
Oh, and by the way, our Everqueen lost our really evil sword. I mean, sure, you want to say, hey, you can use it for good, but eventually you get corrupted and everything goes to hell. But the Sword of Cain is right over here. It belongs now to the Druki. That isn't good. If we need to, we'll go over here and help them out. They're right now, they are still winning. Even though many of their armies are gone, or at least defeated, they're still winning. Alithanar, where are you at? Oh, hello. I did see a Skaven army. There we go. There's two of them right over here. It's been quite a bloody war. I've never seen a campaign turn out like it has. The Lizardmen are still fighting Alithanar. Mazda Mundi hasn't really moved too much. But now it's time for me to end my turn. We'll be doing a lot of that. If I build up any new buildings or do anything like that, I'll be sure to show you that. But we're now in a period where we're getting ready to transition to a new phase of our campaign. Sea Lord Ashland is on his way to Tortavlu. We should probably prepare it. We'll turn our archive over into a grand repository that will unlock new technology. And it will unlock a Lord Master of Hoeth in addition to many other benefits too, like Swordmasters of Hoeth. There we go. Now over here, we can take our theater, providing more money and public order. Then here's one elven court. You must conduct yourself accordingly at court, so I won't have you embarrassing me. We'll be able to do what? Recruit a noble that's rank four in the very beginning, not bad. And our entertainment buildings will make more money too. What else do we need while here? Why don't we take up a dragon's lair? I don't need a dragon, but I'll take it anyway. A dragon keep would be great to have. Now, dragon princes or star dragons, I do want those. We'll also take a shrine of Asurian. I can't really see any other building that I want. Not in a capital. So we'll take that. There we go. And finally, we can upgrade our stone walls into enchanted walls. My other option is to potentially move somewhere else. There is a rogue army that's currently ready to attack me. Now, I could fight them outright, but I would rather go fight Skaven who matter. That's right, you don't matter. Eventually, I'll need to upgrade Hawk Lord Unalus' army, but that would be a lot of gold. I wonder, can they reach me? Oh, we might have to fight them anyway. Interesting. Well, that should be fun. Now, let's have a look over here, Sea Lord Ashlyn. You're rank 29. I'm going to put a point over into the storm. I'm going to make sure that you've upgraded every single unit that you have. They're going to be so powerful because of it. Now, Warden Lavendil. I'm going to put a point over into Blade Master. You're at 75 melee attack and 75 melee defense. You're going to be able to hit and not be hit. Hi, Seer Lower Loss. I remembered what I said that I would do for you. Here is your Liliaf's blessing. Those facing a great challenge, a difficult decision, or simply in need of luck may call upon the goddess of dreams and fortune. Eight more power reserves for our magic. And we're pretty much done here. We just need to upgrade our walls over in Koron. And then move into Koron. Our enemies are on the way right now. Sure, they have warp lightning cannons and they even have the high ground. But they don't know how to truly use it. They're not elegant elves who know how to use high ground. I don't know why they would, but they do. They know how to use it. Here comes my bolt thrower. We'll need to be careful not to hit our own but here they come right now. They've got many specialist units and I've got my heroes on the front lines. Hawk Lord Unaleth, he is a juggernaut. He's going to show them how to fight. Our great eagles are moving in. On the opposing flank, we have our silver helms moving through the woods. We know about trees, not as much as wood elves. But here they come right now. They're charging in. They're rat ogres hitting my front line and warp lightning cannons also hitting our front line. There they go. Oh man, it's a rat MMA show right now. And there's another warp lightning bolt hitting more of my poor militiamen. I call them militiamen because they're not very steady in very many ways, but they are our free company fellows. But anyway, we're fighting right now. We're hitting everything that we can. Our heroes are on the front lines, and we can see that Great Eagles are now hitting that Warp Lightning Cannon. That is one that will at least hopefully be put into disrepair. And while that is going on, let's have a look over here. My Silver Helms have since moved in. They've gone after one. There's a Warp Fire team over here that's now being hit by many volleys. Our arrows are destroying them. Whenever it comes to having focused volleys, let me tell you, some high elves can deal out some damage. We might not have fancy gadgets and gadgets, but we do have shafts. Many shafts. They are plentiful. We have enough for everybody here. But here they come again. 
We now have our white lines of craze moving in, hitting more of their units. Let's have a look at what's happening right now. Our C company is still very much alive, though they are damaged. Over here, we're looking at a Doom Will at 45 kills moving in through our Lothern Sea Guard, but we do have anti-large spears, so we're okay. My Great Eagles are still moving in. Our Hawk Bolt Thrower is not really doing too much. And back here, we have more units that are helping us maintain the front lines, like our Storm Riders, who have very cool outfits, by the way. If you're gonna kill, you better kill in style. Silver Helms have since charged in. It's such a brief battle because of how deadly it is and because how they all rushed in and how I was easily able to outmaneuver them. They don't have any mounted units at all. So let's have a look at what's happening right now. The White Lions of Crazy are still fighting right over here. They're winning their own battle, their own personal elf Vietnam. And while that's happening, what do we have? Just a lot of Skaven who are stuck here in the middle. We're hurting everything else with our great eagles with our mounted soldiers. They have now broken. They didn't really have enough to stop me. And so now they're all fleeing and trying to get the hell out of here. So we're gonna chase them down and kill as many as we can, but we're gonna make sure that we expunge every single rat man from this location. It was such a brief battle. The battles like that, wherever you have like high damaging but vulnerable units, they do not last for long. So what happened here? They moved in, they charged in. They dealt with my front line. They had all these damaging things, but my archers, they were targeting all of their high damaging things. When it came to their infantry, they were stuck in their tracks. Why? Because I have so many spears. I have Lothern Sea Guardsmen. I have so many arrows constantly hitting them. They couldn't do anything. I know what it's like to fight elves. We did lose a lot. Don't get me wrong, but we will survive and we will move on. Let's move on. Those are a bunch of dead rats. We don't need to worry about them anymore. But we do need to worry about getting oh, wait, treasure. Yeah, Hawk Lord Unerlith, why don't you go grab a bit of treasure for me? What am I getting? Far side, okay. More campaign movement and gold? You had me at campaign. All right. We're nearly ready. We've got to go over here to Tortavlu. I could skip over all the building up, but I'm sure some of you like to know about what's been going on or what will be going on instead of me popping up and being like, oh, here's my new army. Which is fair, too. I mean, that's okay to do, in my view. All right, Swift Brothers, I want you to turn into something new. I need you to have shields. Okay, so we're coming down here. I do have a decent amount of gold, but I want my Silver Helms. There we go. I could also use a few other units, too. Like over here. Let's have a look at what I can build up. A stockpile. Lower upkeep. Absolutely. More campaign movement, I'll get that later. When it comes to other buildings that I might need, it really depends on what would help me now. Lothern Swift Feather Riders sounds pretty good. Later I could get dragons while I'm at sea. That sounds really cool too. I'll take one of those and while I'm at it, let's see here. I could use more Lothern Sea Guardsmen. Yeah, there we go. They're gonna replace all of my spearmen. Sipping Sailors, you're getting shields. I love how I've got to recruit an entirely new group. I'm like, here, here's a shield. By the way, you've got to train for a year. Life is hard for a freaking Asur. What's over here? The Warden is now rank five. Okay, at rank five, I'm gonna give to you replenished troops because you know that I need to replenish quickly. We only have a small number of elves who are able to fight with us at any one time. Your army will be a bit cheaper, but I think that's gonna be okay. You're already at rank five for one group, rank four and rank three for your lowest ranked group of C Companies men. Docking. But come back over here to replenish, then we'll let you leave again. But now it's time for me to end my turn and to hopefully get more gold as we go on. We have a new turn and new buildings too. One of them has allowed me to get a Lord Master of Hoath. We'll need a good name and backstory for him. His upkeep is quite high though. I'll need to be mindful of that. One more mission completed. Look at that here. They have a higher chance to complete an action and, well, their actions are cheaper by 25%. Nothing too crazy, but we have it now. What I don't you? believe I'll put you into Ashland's army. Servant Instead, I might bring you over here, but I haven't really decided yet. I can only have one of you because Defend really you cost too much. Throat. I won't be able to get too many expensive units right now because I still do need more gold. Swordmasters wouldn't be a bad idea, but I think for Ashlyn, I want White Lions more than anything else here. I'm currently picking up a Lothar and Swift Feather Rider, or Riders, as we have many of them, 16 total. 
they're pretty good at melee. I can't wait to use them on the battlefield. It'll be a bit more interesting than Great Eagles. Now, I would like one more group of Lothern Sea Rangers. We're trying to pick up more units here that are meant to be thematic for our Navy. But you, my friend, you'll be coming all the way down here to come help us out. We already have a noble, but he could use a spellcaster. That would really help him. No, I'm not going to pick up a new agent again. Not for a minute. I believe your army is fine. So instead, I'll let you go pick up your agent. Then you can leave. Hold on. Watch out for that attrition. I don't want you to deal with that. How can we get over here without dealing with it? I could have you move a bit further. I suppose no matter what. No, wait. Here we go. I found a pathway. Kothik knows how to sell. Okay, they lost a few, but such is life. Now that we're done here, let's have a look at Tortavlu. Tortavlu has a theater, a dragon's lair, shrine of Asaurian, and many other things too, like our grand repository. Oh man, my garrison is looking pretty good now. That's a lot of Lothern Sea Guard. So now we just need a few turns to get more gold and time to finish up our units, but then we'll be setting sail again to go fight some Skaven. We have a new turn and much more to do. High Seer Lord Loss has gained a level. What are we gonna give to her now? Earthing, I don't want her to take damage from casting spells. And we were able to build up over here, Kothiquin Sailors. Mariners from Kothik are the best sailors in the world, that is true. Now our campaign movement is even higher than before, from 15% to 30%, and we take even less damage from anything related to the sea. Now it's time for me to move down here. Here we go. On my way, I could always build a new building, or a new addition to my ship, but that can wait until later. Hawk Lord Unaleth, is it time for you? Oh. And we gave him the High Lore Master, as I said I would do. His name? Sentinel Abinel. In case you forgot. Can we go to war now? Let's find out. I guess we'll be finding out in one more turn. Skaven destroyed? Not true. That's just a rebel group. They're much alive and well. Very much alive. Look at that one. That's an ugly one. I wonder how the world is doing. How are all of you doing? The Vanna Heimlings have pushed out Midlin. Okay. Oh, you guys are alive again. The Scalings, okay. Well, hopefully they'll be going back into battle. If not, who knows what I'll be doing to handle them. When it comes to what's happening over here, Alariel has once again taken control of the Sword of Cain. Yeah, she's crazy. She's pretty crazy. I don't want to be near her. I gave her too much power by helping her out, I think. <laughs> All right, time to move on. Now I wonder, what could be in Brion? Let's find out. Oh, Skaven, who knew? If only I knew, I wouldn't No, I would be here. I was going to sail all the way down there to fight them, but I figured we should just take our time, burn them down bit by bit. And here we're going to begin. How many do I need to kill while I'm here? Let's have a look. Well, Hawk Lord, there's not too many to kill. I'm not going to occupy it. I could loot and occupy to get a lot of gold. Or I could sack it and go. No, I'm going to loot and occupy. There we go. Tier 2 settlement. Not bad. And we're gaining more replenishment due to a manor. I'll keep it up until we get a tier 3 settlement. Now for you, Ashlyn. It's time for you to move down over here to Castle Carcassonne. We'll need new names for every location that we conquer, too. Rank 7 for Hawk Lord Unalith. Bowmaster, rank 3. More ammo and more damage for my ranged units. Okay, Sentinel Abanel. It is time for you to pick up something new here. Uh, magic, you say? Okay, take it. Shim's Burning Gaze. And for you, Warden Zalik the Vengeful. We know your story. Here is hard to hit. Done. Now, what more do we need to do? There's not too much more for me to do. But I will upgrade my sea patrol into a cruising fleet. All right, there we are. Nothing more for me to build. Corona is once again unhappy. There's way too much vampiric corruption around here. I'm not a fan of that. Come on now. I even built a shrine of a Saurian. Vlad, are your armies here? No, they're not. Who's here then? Ah, uh, okay. It will only go up. Which means I'll need a new building to enhance public order. I've already got one, but I need more than that. That's pretty wild. We found more rats again. 
I'm gonna build up my high elf siege tower while I'm here. We'll need one turn to complete it. Then we'll be going into combat. I've got plenty of artillery, so I could just charge in. That is true. I do hate their warp lightning bolts. Those are quite damaging. Maybe I should. They do have another army over here. Rank two, but still a full stack. Volkmar the Grim is close by. Oh, look at the wood elves. They're dying. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, my people. Oh, no. Okay, Hawk Lord Unalith. I'm going to have you move, too. I could have you help me with that war. True, or I could have you build up your building. It wouldn't reduce our overall upkeep, so maybe not. Come over here then. Come on, let's go. If we can fight... Oh, it's a really weak army too. Yeah, we'll do it. We're bound to have another rebellion. Scaven corruption is very high. What's over here? What can I take up? Vol's hammer? Absolutely, I'll take it right now, though I should have saved it for a more pressing location. But no, it'll really help right now. Oh, that popped up. I was clicking away, but then that happened. Well, I now have a crown of authority. That was another crafting event because of that right. I always forget about that one. I haven't played the high elves in a very long time. But either way, it's very handy to have. I just need to find someone to give it to. I'm not going to give it to you. Basic armor, I think not. What about over here? I bet someone over here needs it. What about you, Abadel? No, you're fine. Yeah, I think you're largely fine. You've got most of what you need. Or maybe I can only give it to a commander. Some items are like that, you know. Yeah, I don't really have too much for you. That's all right. Let's now go into combat. I have no new followers to assign at all. And it's new armor. Send Louis. You already have your own armor. I wish you had more legendary items, but you do have a storm dragon, so I suppose that'll count. We've got so many new units. Let's go into combat now. It's time to take a new castle. We're now attacking Castle Carcassonne. On the right gate, our swift feather rocks are now moving in. They're quite damaging. Now, you're meant to use them in melee. They just have some bows for some extra added damage. If you have a foe that cannot strike back, then sure, that can be quite handy. But if you have not seen Carcassonne, here it is right now. And over here, we have our Sea Lord Ashlyn waiting by all of her bolt throwers. Why? Because they're going to summon in rats. When it comes to fighting Skaven, they are quite predictable. We also have Vol's Hammer. So you know what we're going to use that for. We're going to break down some stuff. We took out one tower already. Now Sea Lord Ashlyn is moving in to attack. And there's one Earth Blood to keep my crews alive. We need to break down more towers if we want to attack without losing too many of our own units. There we go. The hammer struck. The wall is gone. Rats have died because of it. It gives them no chance to move away, so they fall and they die. But we have more to take down. There's a lot of rats here. But I'm going to show you how to wage war the High Elven way. It's elegant. It has poise. We're going to make sure that we take our time as we destroy them all. Now, the rocks are still moving. Let's go look at how many kills they have. 29 kills. They have a, let's see, missile damage of 44. They have some weapon strength, too. We're looking at how much total. 66? No, that's not about right, is it? It is. Okay. I had to be sure that I wasn't clicking on some other unit because they are flying and hard to see. And now they're moving in after a play claw catapult. These, again, are veterans, and we are playing them very hard, so they may be quite challenging to take down, but here are these very good units. Trust me, you do not want to fight them. If you ever get to fight Ashlyn in your own campaigns, these guys here will give you so much trouble. Now, while we're keeping that Play Claw Catapult busy, let's go back to the front lines. Right now, we still have more damage to deal. But they're still summoning in even more rats. They won't stop. They can't stop. They don't know how to control themselves. They're Skaven. They're cuckoo for Warpstone Dust. But the White Lions of Craze are going to offer them a few questions. They've got to axe a lot. Oh, there goes another rat. Another one. DJ Elflid would be proud. For all we do is win. I'm sorry. Anyway, here comes Sea Lord Ashland. It's time for a Storm Dragon's Breath. But here's a large cluster of them. My God. 
how many just died. Let's have a look. We can find out, actually. 216 rats gone. See, Lord Ashlyn says, yeah, I told you. You shouldn't have come at me. Taking over my castle and they're all like, but oh, we were here first. What? Sorry. Dead rat says what? Another Vol's hammer breaking open the gate. Oh, look at that. That gate's open for me to utilize now. But now it's time to use archers. A lot of archers. We don't just charge in. I have a finite amount of infantry. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to let my rocks attack for a little bit longer, but then they're going to move away. They have 72 kills. They are taking some amount of damage. I would do wish I could have more than one, but my cap is only at one right now. 74 kills, and they were able to really damage a lot of our foes. I love this map. This is actually one of my favorite maps, even though it's a little bit easier to take because, you know, they are... Oh my god, it's a lot of stones. That are hardened Skaven droppings. Get out of here. You can do it. Let's not think too hard on... You know, how they're not just breaking my bird's bones. My rock's bones. Magic. Over here to see Lord Ashland is now moving in, attacking some distant groups like the gutter runner slingers. And here's one assault of stone. Rocks falling right on top of their heads. There's blood all over the ground and a lot of dead rats. Oh, it's nasty. Look at him. Look at him. All dead like on my floor. I've got to clean that up. Oh, great. There's more of that. Just a puddle of blood. Like a puddle of mud. All right, 319. 319 kills, not bad. But now it's time to break open a few more Skaven on the walls. And right now, my rocks are leaving the map. They're getting the hell out of here. It's a fairly long siege because there's a process here. We've got phase one. Phase one is complete. Now time for phase two. Phase two is over here where we get all of our ranged units. We've got four companies of the Sipping Sailors. Back here, we've got the Black Rain. Three companies of them. Back here, we've got two companies of Ashland's Chosen. Now, these guys are juggernauts. They know how to kill. And if we look at their weapon strength, they can even fight a bit of melee. They have a bonus when fighting infantry, and they have armor-piercing damage, too. So if you need them to fight a melee, they can do that. And while that is happening, we're just going to watch arrows fall on top of their heads right now. Much like that. And that's how you fight Skaven. You have to withstand all of their stupid attacks. You've got to break down their towers because their towers can do a lot of damage, especially when upgraded. And then you just got to have to, you know, take out their leadership like a warlock engineer. There's one. Found one. And Sea Lord Ashlyn, well, he's a busy, busy Sea Lord. Uh, there's another burst of his magical item providing some physical resistance. Look at that. Panoply of the Merlord. Armor and vigor all going up. He's at 388 kills. Our White Lions of Krace, otherwise known as the White Reapers. We don't just have one company of them now, but three companies. And they're now moving in. I love my White Lions of Krace. I will say, when it comes to the High Elves, CTT does them right. And the other part that I want to add in is that White Lions of Krace are not meant to be like a freaking tier 2 group. They're meant to be elite. I mean, they guard the Phoenix King. And I understand that you want to balance things, but that, I mean, that is just so wrong. That is so wrong in so many ways. So for them to actually be good is imperative. Because you should be using more of them than, let's say, Phoenix Guard. Phoenix Guard have a very ritualistic role. And I'll probably have, like, one group of them, like the Regiment of Renown, but I'm not too keen on using them. There's, like, something really satisfying about using the High Elves, I feel like it's because even though they do not have a lot of variety in what they can use, they do have a lot of... I'm trying to think about the, like, the proper way to put it. Everything just clicks together. It works together. And nothing really looks more organized than watching High Elves fight. You have their spear walls. You have their bows. There's just something really majestic. Like the beginning in that flashback in Lord of the Rings when you're watching... The last alliance fight. There's just something very gratifying about that. That's how I feel about High Elves when it comes to how they're able to fight. But the Sea Lord Ashland is now moving in. The Warden should be coming in very soon. He'll be coming to help out. He's got his awesome rims on that chariot. But look at how many arrows are falling down at them. When I tell my archers to focus on some more enemies, my god, they do so. 
And I know we all probably think about it in the back of our heads. If we like Warhammer, man, I'm telling you, Lord of the Rings would fit so well with how they have designed Warhammer. And I'll tell you why, because it's not as crazy. Warhammer is by far amped up. It's like Lord of the Rings if Lord of the Rings did speed. If it just snorted lines, right? It, it's just crazy. There's so many crazy freaking things. And so if you could imagine high elves fighting orcs right now, how good that would look. Watching trolls rampage through ranks. I mean, they would probably have to add in a few extra things. I mean, like I was really fine with what Battle from Middle Earth did. And if you begin to add in some of like the evil creatures from the first and second ages, like in the Cimmerillion, then you could have a lot of evil. Oh my God, look at the, oh jeez. Okay, let's have a look at the kills real quick. Already the Warden is at quite a few kills. There was one Awakening of the Wood from our Spellcaster killing more of these rats. Our Sea Lord has over 500 kills. Our Noble has over 80 kills. There's arrows all over the ground. They're trying to get away. They're mostly broken right now. We have more to kill, but look at that. We have wiped out so many. What's crazy is how many rats are fleeing right now. That's a lot of rat. And even as they try to get out of here, they're being shot right in the back. Not because we're cowardly, but because they are. They decided to turn. We're just here to kill. What a battlefield. There's the Warden Lavendale. There they go. What an awesome sight. We're not quite done yet. We have more to take down. We had some white lions over here who were able to get some kills. Most of their kills are from killing those clan rats who were summoned in. All of the ones over here, which you can still see, they got bodies. I mean, they took out a few of our elves, but not really too many. It would be really cool if Warhammer Fantasy could have been sold off to like some other company because they're doing Age of Sigmar, but I know they're kind of like rehashing the fan favorites and all that or like remaking them Ashlyn is back in in his own way they did him dirty in the end times but uh now he's like the herald of Mathlin if I understand correctly oh I might be wrong about AOS Laura I don't know crap about it I'm sure it's not bad it's just a little bit harder for me to get into at least like here you have more of a grounded world with like cultures. But to be fair, like most of that lore comes from the Warhammer RPGs and even books. Like the army books do set things up. But what's really interesting is actually reading the really old lore and seeing it kind of like evolve over over uh, time. There just wasn't very much there. So it was very cool to kind of like see those things change and ebb and flow. Like even the maps were quite simplistic. Which made me think about my own like world building whenever I'm doing like tabletop stuff. Anyway, Ashlyn's at 630 kills. He had to kill that one rat in particular. Man, do you know what would be cool too? War machine and hordes. Oh, seeing some war jacks on the battlefield. If you don't know what that is, let me tell you. It's pretty cool. I know they tried to make a game a while ago. I don't think it went very well. I don't know if it ever did well. The Warden Lavendale is moving up. 83 kills. I love High Elven Chariots. I'm not usually a Chariot fan, but <laughs> they're like great. We got to wash our horses, our freaking banner. What's left over here? We've been fighting for so long. Yeah, keep your head down, rat. He's probably about to break, but we can leave the battle. Oh, it's horns. Warp stone. Okay. You don't know what warp stone is. I've gone over it before, but it is solidified magic. You have the winds of magic. Well, it does take a solid form. Warp stone. Has he broken? Let's see here. Yep. Battle's over. We've won. The rat is gone. We've taken the cast. A pretty good decisive victory. I mean, High Elves are great at besieging, I can tell you that much. We were able to dismantle everything they had. Goodbye, Skaven. We lost only 23. Leave nothing of now it's time to loot and occupy again. I now have over 11,000 gold, a new relic blade for one of my heroes. Boy. And the Fireborn. The Dragon Princes have been unlocked. 
Not bad. And while we are here, we now have a new tier four building. Oh, that's really, really good. That will allow me to do a lot. We already have a theater, Ooh, even better. Okay, Cinnabar Mining Pit. I need that to unlock some technology. And over here, we'll take stone walls. Well, before I do that, let's pick up city tunnels. I need to make sure that there's no skaven around here anymore. They could still be here or they could come back without me knowing. All right, we've gotten everything but the storm. We'll take that now. Plus 15 to a charge bonus. Ooh, not bad at all. Okay, let's have a look around. My units are looking really good right now. They're very strong. They could always be stronger. I wouldn't mind if they were stronger. But now we need to wait for a new battle. That will be coming very soon. For a new commandment, we need to get rid of even more corruption. It'll take time for me to move down after conquering one location, but I'm sure that will come in time too. Oh, the Wood Elves are not looking great. The King's Glade is still around. Vol's Anvil has been captured by goblins and the Waterfall Palace is gone. What is happening in my world? I love it, by the way, but what is happening? And over here, the Van Heimlings have pushed back out. They now have Ice Drake Ford. The Bay of Blades has been burned down. Okay, so the Greenskins were not able to hold on to the Longship Graveyard. Understood. It's about time for me to end my turn. The Lizardmen are hitting Olithanar pretty darn hard. I don't know if he's going to be able to stay out here. He still has his capital of Arnheim. What else are we looking at? Mini Skaven who survive up north. I believe the Drukir are pushing the High Elves out. I don't know if they're going to be able to stay up here. Alith Anar was doing so well initially, but now look at him. He's much weaker. Interesting. If only he could go back home. Anyway, time for me to end my turn. We've got a lot more to do. I won't be fighting the Red Duke right now. I'm busy elsewhere. But who knows? It could always change. That one Skaven army went away. I don't know where they went to, but hey, they're Skaven. Maybe I'm not meant to know or they could ambush me. Oh, hello. There's another army. Unalith, I want you to go down. Our Sea Lord will wait here for a turn. We just need him to keep the peace. We can elevate that public order quickly. There's a lot of corruption here, but we're beginning to bring that down. Oh, Teclas, are you alive? Hey, good for you, pal. Oh, they're over here in Magrita. What? Why are they here? Huh, that's really strange. I have never seen them leave Lustria. What's going on in Lustria? Okay. Anyway, I'm going to end my turn now. I don't have any gold to spend. I just wanted you to see that because I've never seen that. Techless. He was like, you know what? I'm tired of that. I'm going to go meet up with a butt of mine. Ashlyn. More technology completed. There we go. New trade gained for Ashlyn. He's an architect. How about that? More income and cheaper buildings. Hello, Bill Billy. What do you have? A full stack? We'll need to fight them. They have a highly veteran army, too. That's going to be a tough one. I don't know what I might lose, but we're going to find out in just a minute. For Ashlyn, he's still waiting over here. We're still trying to subjugate the local populace. Hopefully, there's some people left. If not, well, I don't know. I'll have to execute like a mating order. For every elf that has a child, you get one nice vase. How about that? Pretty fair? Pretty fair. All right, let's get ready for a pretty big battle now. I'm just trying to watch the map real quick because, uh, you know, things are pretty weird. Hello, Teclas. Yeah, I suppose you're doing all right. He wanted a defensive alliance, and I said, sure, why not? You're a pretty cool guy. I'm a big fan, which means we won't be going for Magritte. I was hoping to take it, but oh well. We can come over here to Tobato, then together take out Skaven Blight. Or we can just let Ashland do it. Our Hawk Lord can move to the east and take over other lands over here, like Sartosa. I do want Sartosa. My enemies are very close to us right now, so I'll need to go over what we're going to do to fight them all. There's our leader. The Hawk Lord. Over here on my front lines, I've got all of my wings. They've been transferred over, all of the survivors and even more of them. We have our Lothern Sea Guard on the left flank, our Spearmen on the right flank. My archers are behind all of them. My White Lions of Krace are waiting on the right flank as well. Back here, I've got my Eagles and my Silver Helms. They have another reinforcing army on the way right now. I am worried about that. It's another Warlock Engineer. We're bound to see more Warp Lightning. And when it comes to what they have, it's a lot of rats. Okay, let's begin. 
it won't be easy it won't be pretty but we're gonna do our best right now Abanel is radiating with power he's quite scary he's about to cut down a lot of rat but there's our volleys and there is his burning gaze that burning gaze does so much damage here comes one noble charging right now they summoned in clan rats our great eagles are currently attacking there's one assassin and a warlord that's not going to be easy he's in big trouble my god having to fight two of those is no joke he's taking a lot of damage let's have a look now They've already hit my left flank pretty hard. I have one group of Lutheran Sea Guardsmen who are holding pretty firm. We've got a Great Eagle still fighting back too. There's another group of Clan Rats moving in. They outnumber me heavily. On the right flank, we have my Silver Helms charging in, killing at least 30, almost 40 on one, over 40 on another charge. Over here, I've got more Spearmen who are still fighting. It's a battle where I'm in big trouble. I'm outnumbered. And I decided to fight in the middle rather than just trying to go off to one side. I thought I should be daring for once, right? There's a few volleys hitting that assassin. I'm trying to get rid of that assassin because they nearly killed our noble. I don't want that. Our lore master has killed 30. There's another burning gaze. He's killed 38 now. Our great eagles are still attacking at over 60 kills. Their reinforcements are on the way right now. On the left flank, we're looking at our Lutheran Sea Guard who are still fighting back at over 30 kills. Over here, 25 and one more group. We're looking at our wings who are at over 60 kills. They're fighting a lot of Skaven right now. Here comes another group now eliminating my poor crew for our Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower. Good thing I didn't name it yet or they would be wiped out. My warriors are beginning to rally. That would be Zalek. Zalek nearly lost his life there, but he's coming back now to go fight even though he's at low health. Our Silver Helms are crucial here. They're now moving back and they'll be charging back in momentarily. If we go look over here, the Great Eagles are once again trying to get rid of these clan rats who were summoned in. There's so many of them. My Lutheran Sea Guardsmen, they're still trying to fight back and they're outnumbered heavily. Over here, they are surrounded, but look at them fight on. They're at over 50 kills. They're still holding somehow, even though their numbers are minimal. Over here, we have one group of archers who are currently offering some volleys right from behind, hitting them on their flank. Here comes another group of clan rats. They will not stop. It's a ceaseless amount of rats. We have a look at the battle right now. We're heavily outnumbered, but here comes my Silver Helms, and they're moving in. They're going to be charging in on the right flank. That way, we can liberate some of our units, and here comes some Warp Lightning, hitting more of my units right now. My poor wings will be wiped out at the rate we're going. We do have archers close by. They are getting a lot of kills. Each one is at over 100 kills. I have one group of Lutheran Sea Guard who are now broken. They're at, let's see, 25 left. The one in the middle. Over 40 kills right now. They're still fighting in melee because they can because they're pretty good at melee combat, though they have no shields. And over here, the wings are always fighting. They're always trying to do their best. My Silver Helms are now eradicating rats over on the right flank. It looks like we have now broken enough rats to where we can bring back some of our infantry. Zalek is now fighting on the front lines, still killing rats, even though he was nearly killed himself. He's here to get revenge. He's vengeful. He's angry. Elsewhere, we have more rats now charging in after my archers who have over 100 kills. They're still firing volleys or releasing volleys. There's another warp lightning bolt hitting my units. The wings have been broken. They're only at 16 left. And now it's only one Lutheran Sea Guard group at over 70 kills who are holding, who are keeping all these groups busy while my other units are busy trying to win this battle. Elsewhere, my white lions are moving around. They're at nearly 200 kills. If we keep on looking now, we're now able to bring that infantry does on the right flank over to the middle and they're getting a lot of kills too. Abanel's been fighting the entire time with our Hawk Lord. He's at over 100 kills. He's been using Shem's burning gaze every chance he's been able to get, killing scores of rats every single time. And over here we have Silver Helms who are still moving through all of their units. They're at 149, 157 kills. Sorry, it just went up. That's how good they're doing. That's how well they're doing. And over here are more Lutheran Sea Guardsmen who have not yet broken. They're at 112 kills and still going up. I have more units who have come back. The rats are now beginning to break. Even though my elves did break, they did come back and they were able to make up for that. More rats are now being hit by volleys and it looks like we did indeed win the battle. I had to bring some energy in there because, I mean, that was a pretty wild battle. It was very quick, but we have killed them all. And, oh, my poor eagle. Anyway. Take a look. We've won the battle, everyone. We were able to do it. They didn't have a lot of special units. They had numbers. 
That's still almost one. Our warden killed 23. Despite being wounded grievously in the very beginning, he still killed. The enemy lord is now dead. And we can move on. There's one more dead enemy we no longer need to worry about. Though we didn't lose our bolt thrower. That's really unfortunate. Our poor wing company is trying to keep up. They took a lot of damage. They're really meant to, I suppose. At rank 8, I'm going to give you what then? Something to help out my C company. I do not have any Silver Hell Marines yet. I do want some. Plus 2 melee attack and melee defense is really low. In comparison to a lot of other army buffs you see for other lords. But hopefully it'll pay off. And Sentinel Abinal. My god, you killed so many Skaven in one battle. I'm going to give you Earthblood too. We'll be using him quite a bit. Lore Masters are incredibly good. Oh, look at that army. I could pull back to replenish or I push on. I'm going to push on. You are not We're going to loot and occupy. They're going to be unhappy no matter what. We did begin with a colonnade. Hey, how about that? Speak your mind. Now over here, I'm going to build my high sea marines. There we go. I can recruit whatever I want to now when it comes to sea rangers or other units like that. Now, when it comes to a mighty unit for our army, what do we need? More infantry? Probably. I could give them some elite units too, like the Keepers of the Flame or the Fireborn. The Fireborn would be great. I mean, there's really a lot here that we could use. We are fighting Skaven, but I only have so much gold and I would like to upgrade my building. So I'm going to give you a cheap unit. The Science of Mathlin. There you go, buddy. He's like, gee, thanks a lot. Okay, rank 7. I'm going to give you hard to hit. Again, you took a lot of damage. Two assassins nearly killed him. I mean, they are from Clan Eshin. But my god, they nearly got him. Okay, what is around here? We need to make more money. More gold is very much needed right now. Look at all those crazy things going on over here in Norska. I couldn't tell you. In a way, Kothik, you can finally get up to tier 5. Oh, fantastic. Okay, we'll take that. Again, I only have so much gold. That's why I'm trying to save it up, because I need to upgrade buildings. What can you get anyway? Yeah, okay. You can get a lot of stuff. I would like more veterans. I mean, I have a lot who are at a decent rank already, but why don't we take up for now? Fixed Eagle Claws. Over at Tier 5, we can get Dragon Blades. Passive Army Ability at Sea. Dragon Ship Ramming. Army Causes Fear. Oh, it's really cool. It can even sink a Black Arc. What? How about that? That's also really cool. And over here, we would have what? More income from sacking, more of a line of sight. Now, give me my fixed Eagle Claws. I do have two groups of them. There we go. I hear the Widowmaker. Warden Lavendil, for you. What am I going to give you? Well, Wound Maker for one. I need you to hit harder in combat. Now we can end our turn again. There's one of them, and we can catch him too. Bullren, I found you. Well, don't you fret. I'm going to come visit you in just a minute. Now, what else am I going to pick up? If I lose a bit of influence, I could gain more money from sacking and looting. And more melee attack too. I mean, it could be all right. I believe it will be. Let's give it a go. Ashland's merciless actions are certainly effective, if not exceedingly brutal and diplomatically awkward. The politicking Elven Court is little appreciation for such disruption. Now let's go into combat. I could fight you, but you're way too weak. You're only ranked two. You get to go away. I'm here to move on. I'll take force labor. That army is now gone. No, when it comes to an army that weak, fighting my main army, there's no point in fighting that out. If they had more elite units, sure. All right. Hi, Seer Laura Laws. What will I give you now? It's always a question. Oh, wait until you get your chariot. That's going to be a lot of fun. Awakening of the Wood, Shield of Thorns. Yeah, take that. Physical resistance and weapon damage. I like it. Okay, I've got some gold. Albion. You could always use better defenses. Carcassonne, what about you? You've got your wall. All right, here we go. Tier four. I love it. Hawk Lord, what about you? You're rank nine. Good, good. Bloody melee. I'll give you that. 
I need to give you something to make you better in melee. You're not very powerful as it is right now, but hopefully in time that may change. Okay. The big advantage we get is that he's able to use a hybrid fleet and land army. Again, Teclas is okay, so we get a chance to breathe. I mean, they could jump over the mountains or not jump over, but, you know, tunnel under the mountains. There we go. Now it's time for me to end my turn again. We've got a lot more to do, and the world is still getting stranger. Midland's doing well. Good for them. Hey, how about that? Nordland's alive. I don't know what happened to Vlad. Is he still very much a threat? Itza is now number one. Okay, you're fighting Master Moody. Von Karstein's are number three in strength. They own 22 locations. Where have they been fighting? You only own eight, but you're a number four power. Oh my God. The poor Greenskins. They actually own more land now. I believe they had like, what, 15 settlements? Now they're at 22. I don't know what they're doing. They're just fighting all over. Sounds about right. They never win though, not anymore. You can see what's happening all over the world, though. It's pretty strange. Oh, the Dark Elves are actually not in the top 10. Yeah, they're number 14. They're holding. They're holding. They're not winning, but they're holding. That war is, again, as expected, very bloody and awful. Did they lose their capital? That's really the big thing to note. No, they did not. But it is under siege. Sea Lord Ashland and Hawk Lord Unalith are now traveling together. They're getting ready to besiege Skaven Blight. We're gonna tear them down. Rank four for our Sentinel. What will I give you now? Earth Blood or Shem's Burning Gaze? Rank two. I think for now, I'm gonna give you Earth Blood rank two. Healing up a lot sounds really good to me. Okay, we'll be there in like a turn or two. Currently, Tobato is under attack and we're bound to have another rebellion over here at Bilbily. What about Carcassonne? Oh, they're very unhappy too, but we're about to build up our city tunnels. Hey, how about that? And, unfortunately, we have a new visitor. Check out who's over here. We've got Egram Van Horseman. He's coming now. You'll be seeing a lot more of him on my channel in the future. It's going to be pretty interesting. All right, now let's get ready for a new battle. Fortunately, they're not declaring war on me, not yet. Oh, look at Krace. Krace came over too. They're fighting the Van Heimlings as well. Now that I do like. Come over here, Krace. If you can do that... That sounds good to me. Maybe one day I'll be back, but for now, I want to finish a war. Fighting in Norska takes a very long time, no matter what you do and who you are. And you can go insane. I don't want to go insane. Er, we're getting closer now. And look at Teclas. He's been busy. Did you not win that battle, or are you pulling back? Hold on. I'll take it then. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Now, if I'm doing that, I'll need a few turns to patch up. Which means you get to come over here to fight. Maybe you don't want to. It'll be a challenge, I'm sure. Allow me. Yeah, we'll find out very soon. I would like to take more lands over here, but Tankless is really beating me to it. But if we take lands over here, we can always go elsewhere, too. Oh, the Tomb Kings haven't beaten all of you away. What the hell is going on over there? I'm telling you, the more I find out, the more I'm confused by what is happening in our world. In our current iteration. There you go, Van Horseman. Have fun. I won't be helping the Empire out. Not right now. Oh, they took back Trollfort. My god, they're strong. They keep retaking everything. And if I look at it right now, we don't have a treaty with Elithanar anymore. Interesting. There's a lot happening. Okay, let's have a look. I've got one enemy over here. We could always hop wherever. We could even go to the new world. I mean, I can really just go wherever I want to. Right now, Mazda Mundi is conquering a lot. He took Arnheim. We could go retake every location over there. That would be really far from where I'm at now, but that could be interesting. It really could be. I'm just trying to subjugate any problems that arise right now. It is finally time to take Skaven Blight. We know what they're gonna do. Warp Lightning? and a lot of clan rats being brought in. So what can we do to diminish their numbers? We can use a Storm Dragon's Breath. We can also go after their towers too. Here comes Sea Lord Ashlyn. Whenever you use your breath, you kind of want to use it whenever they're lined up like that. You can kill so many more. But here he comes. My goal was to get rid of that Warlock Engineer if possible, but they do have a lot of units. 
we can bring up our own archers very soon. Like over here, I didn't do what I just said, and so we got very few kills. Very few. You wanted to hit through at an angle. Now my rocks are out here. They're going to be moving in, and because there's some Skaven who do not have any ranged abilities, we can just shoot at them. They can take their time. And it does take a long time to where it's not very effectual to do it over a very brief battle. But in a long battle where you can take your time, oh, they'll get some kills all right. See, Lord Ashland is moving in because you know how powerful dragons are. They're very strong. Oh, there could be some friendly fire. There is some friendly fire. Globadier is throwing their little globes. Not doing very well at all. Our archers are eradicating all of them on the walls. That was always my goal. Was to kill some rats. And kill some rat, we are. I don't know why I phrased it like that. They brought in some clan rats too. I have no idea why, but that works in my favor. I'm okay with that. I see Lord Ashland is still fighting. We're at 80 kills, only going up. We're still using our archers to eradicate everyone. So how do we have our units positioned? Lothern Sea Guardsmen have a range of 130, so they're on the front lines, and everyone is just behind them after that. We have our archers and then our sea company, but here they all are. Now moving up, we do have siege towers that will be moving in. We're here to take Skaven Blight. Now, Skaven Blight, if you could subjugate it, if you can get it under control somehow, despite the initial high investment, can be quite handy because of all the building slots it has. Over here is Mathlin's Eyes. 30 kills now. This group. They're just kind of standing here, getting shot at. They're angry about it, but they're doing nothing about it. They're just throwing a fit. We go back over to the front lines. Our archers are now angled, and they're here to get even more kills than before. That's always been the goal, is to just eliminate every single rat with a good series of volleys. Skaven Blight is not defendable. I wonder if GCCM has made a custom map for it. I mean, I do have those maps, but I guess... Maybe they don't have one for this one, or maybe it's unlocked at the highest tier. I don't know how those work, but something better to defend would probably be better in general. But here comes many more volleys. We can't hit them all easily because they are kind of you know, wedged behind some walls, but we're getting enough areas back here still. If only all of them could hit, then they would all die. Absolutely so. Like over here, my god, look at these concentrated volleys. We don't have to fight them in melee. We're elves. It reminds me back in the day of playing Third Age Total War whenever you would play high elves. It's why I would never... What the hell? I just saw like some rocks fall. Was that... I'm not crazy, right? I could have sworn... Okay. I'm not going to overthink it. I don't know if that's like a... Defect or if it's intended. Anyway, the rocks are now over here. They're at how many kills? 67 kills. Not bad. Not bad at all. They don't really have too many great defenses, it looks like. So let's keep on looking. There's another Dragon's Breath. That was a much better one. Now he's at 183 kills. But no, that's why I'm okay with just letting archers do their part. Especially when you're playing High Elves. Just because it reminds me of that. But it was much more overpowered in those games, though. But of course, you didn't have replenishment, so you really had to. The only mod that I remembered with Replenishment, there's one Awakening of the Wood, would be Call of Warhammer, which was quite a bit of fun. It got a little bit too script crazy towards the very end to where I couldn't play it. It just kept crashing. And of course, older games like that did not really work well for me in, on my newer hardware, but it makes me want to build like a 2010 PC and be like, yo, let's go play some Medieval 2. But we now have some more rats over here. Summoned rats. Ashland's having a good time. They have a Plague Priest. I haven't played Skaven for a very long time. I would need a very good overhaul mod that works with either Still Faith or closer to Tabletop and custom heroes and lords because I love my custom heroes and lords, but I like to kind of play with another alternative to the food mechanic that's in the base game. It's too limiting for Skaven in my view. They're all about their numbers, you know, very scary numbers. My God, they look really cool. <laughs> They really stand out. Are you guys going to a rave party that I don't know about? Colorful tablets everywhere. All right. Have a look over here. 237 killed. 
There's not a lot left. How many have my rocks killed? Are they out of arrows? They're about to be. They're at 98 kills. So yeah, it took them five minutes, but they have 100 kills now. They hit, and they are hitting storm vermin, so those do have a bit more armor. So my archers are still moving up. What's left of my arrows, I'm just letting them hit whatever they can. Just whatever they can. I mean, look at how many are flying about. We do not bandy words, we bandy arrows. The Sea Lord Ashland came all the way to Skaven Blight. We're eradicating precise points where there's evil. Yep, there it was again. Anyway, I'm crazy. Sea Lord Ashlyn, you're at over 200 kills, so not nearly as many as you usually get. If we go look at our own archers, they have so many kills. I mean, if you add it all up, 77, 57, over here is 82, one has 80 kills back here. My archers, my standard archers are great because they have, you know, really good range. My companies do not have nearly as many, but it's all right. They were kind of placed in the rear intentionally. Here's a Warlock Engineer, if we could kill him. I mean, look at how many have broken already. Not nearly as many are getting away, though. Oh, right, they had Rat Ogres. I forgot about them. They do have Swole Ogres. That is true. The Warden is currently trying to break down a gate. We have our Silver Helms elsewhere trying to break down another gate. We have our Rocks who are now charging in, and our White Lions on the Siege Towers. The White Reapers are now moving in. They're here to eradicate what's left of the Storm Vermin, but we have taken Skaven Blight. We have done it, my friends. Clan Scryer is done for. We have defeated them. Or whoever was here. I don't pay any heed of them or to them. Battle now over. So we have taken over Skaven Blight. Normally, I wouldn't keep it, but maybe we could turn it into something cool. I don't know. We own it. We can build a lot here. We're getting rid of corruption. Yeah, I could use city tunnels right away. That is a lot of gold. I'll take your stone walls and what more do I want? Income? Oh yeah. Occupied Skaven Blight, not bad. We'll take more replenishment than vanish corruption. And over here we'll take a war hall. There goes my gold. But we're gonna call it here for right now. Techless has taken lands I want. Hopefully he'll lose them due to rebellions. If not, oh well. We should be able to stabilize what we do have and we can move on. Let me know what you think I should be fighting. We'll come down here to Sartosa. Then who knows what we might go fight. It really depends on who is prominent around here. Evidently the humans are still alive. We could go fight them. It's an option. Who leveled up? Ashlyn? Okay. Well, Ashlyn, I've buffed up your units quite a bit. I could give you regeneration. You would get, let's see, physical resistance, 8%, a weakness to fire damage. That's a lot, but that is really cool. It's a unit ability. All right. Well, let's see. What else do we need? Bloody melee or skirmishers. I mean, I do have rangers. I do not use them in melee though. Speed of a Saurian, faster speed and more melee defense. I'll take that right after I get sword player done. Yeah, I'm just going to give him more damage and we can upgrade our fleet again. What do I want? Yeah, I can't use my army ability unless I'm fighting at sea. Can't do it on land, obviously. All right, so why don't we take Ranger training plus two to every recruit rank and a lot more experience per turn. Cool. All right, everyone, leave a like and comment down below. Look forward to more tomorrow. Until then.